Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. For today, we have a special guest for my video. It's my sister, Bernice. So it's our first time. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Um, um, we're going to be doing a little mukbang today featuring some Korean and Japanese snacks. Also going to answer some questions about bullet journaling, creative journaling, and basically journaling. So let's start. Okay, so for a quick background, actually, Bernice, or I call her Bern at home, she <laughs> does bullet journaling. How mm. long have you been doing bullet journaling? Um, I've actually, I actually just started last year. So like, this is my, okay, so this is my first bullet journal and now I'm using this one. So yeah, it's my second year. Yeah, year. yay for commitment. So let's talk about our respective journaling styles. So. What would you say, like, you've been journaling for also quite some time, like mm. me. We've had that similar interest into notebooks, stationery, art. So, so, what would you say would be your journaling style and what got you into bullet journaling? Okay, so, I would say, like, uh, I guess I can talk about my journaling journey. Yeah, but wait, we have to try our Oh, oh right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's try So, Luna. okay, you have this one. So I actually went to the Korean grocery a couple of weeks ago and these are the crown biscuits. Um, they seem, they sort of remind me of the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory biscuits because I remember in the packaging it says it's made with cheese. So let's try it and okay. share with us your journaling journey and how it okay. started. So from the start I did like I do, I have like my own diary, so... Your diary. Um, yeah, like dear diary. You know, sometimes I would also name my diary. So like oh one my of my... Oh my gosh! Oh, like so one of my, my, <laughs> my diaries were, were called... Like, name yeah, is uh, no, Lollipop. <laughs> like this is back in um, grade school. Grade oh my grade gosh. Three, I never three, named three. my journal so, for yeah, diary. So yeah, I'm one of those people. I, I, I didn't want to be those people. Now, oh dear diary. No, I, I didn't want to be so basic So you wrote guys. Like, guys. Dear lollipop. Oh. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> and then uh, after doing my, like diary and then after, um, as when I was in high school, I started having like planners. You know? And then, you know, I, Do you remember what planner did you first use? I don't remember you sure. having planners. I just never saw it. I have planners, but I didn't, I used it mostly for, you know, like if there are assignments, if there are deadlines too. Mm. When I started working, like I, I guess I had more free time in my hands. So I was like, oh, maybe I can merge the two. So I think having a bullet journal is great because you use it for planning, but also you use it also to document your everyday yeah, life. Yeah, because compared to, well, because me, I have a separate planner and a journal where I document my daily life. For you, it's more of like, um, a mm -hmm. mixture of both of them mm -hmm. in the planner because you don't have a separate journal for documenting. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just happen to write a lot and yeah, I I, para, I think we're you also told in me that aspect also like you're you have a lot of notebooks for different purposes. Mm -hmm. But me, I just have like one bullet journal. I put everything and it's more used for planning the like my events. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, you told yeah. me before that you're not much of a self-reflective person, yeah, no. <laughs> which is totally fine. Like, I yeah. totally get that. Like, a lot of people also say, like, oh, I don't write as much and I don't know what to journal. But, but with you, how were you able to incorporate some of these, like, self-reflection, but not in a writing way? Do you add photos, doodles, mm. draw, you know? Yeah, so what I do... I guess to compromise on the whole like reflecting and the whole like writing about my feelings. I like doing different spreads on like um example for show us, show us oh my gosh. I guess like something like this. Um so for my December spread I have like Ooh. um stickers by ABC. <laughs> but um uh, I do like some uh, my favorites for the month so I documented in like this spread and I also have like other spreads like this spread um, with photos. It's called yeah it's called my, my year in Polaroid. So that's how I document. Mm -hmm. So moving to our next cheese delicacy here we have this um I think this is a sponge cake. I remember including oh. this in the cozy autumn box because I was oh, like it's soft. Yeah, it reminds me of like a fudgy bar. 
So let's try it out. So now that we're in, you know, you've been doing the bullet journaling, what are your 2021 journals and planners? Let's talk about that. I do also have a lot of journals and planners. Can't mm -hmm. wait to share it with you guys. How's it taste? Spongy, cakey, mm -hmm. flaky. Is it cheesy or sweet? Or is it like... Why you... <laughs> Why are you looking I at me like that? I was expecting the taste to be like this. Really? But it's good. It's good. Wait. It just it mm, it, it okay. tasted different in my mind. No, it it's actually more... tastes like the. Uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I think it'll great, go great with a cup of black coffee or tea. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. True, true. Reminds me of a bit of like enzymada to some extent. So with 2021 coming in, how excited are you? I remember we were talking about this and you were initially going to get one of the journals that I was featuring in one of my videos, but the size was too small for you. Mm -hmm. um, so do you already have a prospect for... Oh, what are the notebooks that... I think I gave you the Midori. Did I give you that? No, I bought this one. I... Ah, okay. No, you made Pasabai. Oh yeah, I Yeah, did, I you did. made Pasabai. So this is a Midori one, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a Midori um, MD and A5 and then the next one is you use the London Gifties one that I gave you. What are you planning? Like what is your ideal? Like what brand do you want to try for next year? Initially, like uh, I, I was supposed to splurge and buy myself like Archer. The Archer and Olive or the Lois Strom. The Archer and Olive is like... Like totally my grail. Dream, I've my heard dream good things about it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I actually really like the London Gifties one because um, the the paper is quite thick. Mm -hmm. Hi, Christine, if you're watching this video. Hi. London Gifties. I like your journal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and you mentioned that you also had like uh, another uh, uh, like London Gifties also. The yeah, I have the journal. pink one, and she's going to be using that yeah, one. So I think. Yeah. She uses the bullet journal method better than I do, so let's <laughs> just leave it at that. I, now mm. I'm in like from October to December, I don't have a planner because my everyday explore plan is already done. So now I'm using a Veco one that is randomly like I made like a you know vertical layout just to practice because mm. I'm, I'm using the Hobonichi cousin next yeah. year, which is going to be pretty intimidating. So I'll talk more about that in a future video. Apart from that, I'm also segregating a couple of my projects into another project planner. That mm. way I get to streamline everything. You know, like I have the daily to-dos. I think it's also because I do a lot of things. I wear a lot of hats, yeah. which is kind of hard because then my work never ends. So I have a daily planner where I write all the daily things. And I would also have a project planner that's specific to certain projects. It could be like social yeah. media, YouTube, Patreon, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. That is an entirely different entity. Alas. So you also you also need like multiple notebooks for your I think for different for, needs also. Yeah. And mm -hmm. also for my documenting, I am switching to a smaller size because I wanted also to just make more room to try out different journals, not just stick to one. Mm -hmm. And I just really want to play around. I think you're more of a creature of habit. I'm not a huge creature uh, of yeah, habit. I like, it. I never have the same notebook. Except for, you know, yeah. for travel, I have the travel traveler's notebook size mm -hmm. ones forever. But my journals really fluctuate from A5 to A6, but, but never A4. So I guess, like, the size is uh, more or less in that area. Mm -hmm. Our next snack. I actually don't know this brand, but I Sophie sent us but some. But it's so cute. Thanks, Sophie. And I think this is the... Yeah, this is a different one. I don't know. I, I just remember it's a corn cracker mm. of some, some sort, but it also looks like Doraemon to some extent. Oh Wait, Super Dormon's cute. distant cousin. So let's talk about our favorite pens. What is your favorite pen? For like fine liners, I use the... Sakura. Uh, the Sakura. Sakura. Micron. Pig, pig, Sakura. Pig micro. Micron. Yeah, 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 yeah. What point do you use? Initially, I used the I used to mm. use the point point four, oh, but now I thought that it was wearing it's too thick, so I use I like using the point two. Oh, I like point two too. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. How about for pens, like for writing? Hmm. 
for like for writing so if i i fill in like my tasks for the day i just use the pilot gtech c4 it's the one that i have at home but i also like the black blue black but i also like the muji mm. na which one point, point, point point .38? 0.38 .38. i like my thin thin I'm also a Strokes. trans thin girl. <laughs> I personally love the Zebra Sarasa. Um, not the 0.5 one, but the 0.4 one. So I've been using that ever since. And I've also been into fountain pens. I have not oh, brought you into that I world. I don't think but I, can, I have the patience. <laughs> I've been using diligently my Lamy Safari one and Kaweco Sport fountain pen. Mm -hmm. How about for... Um, Notebook brand, what is your top one or top two? Yes. Well, if you if for if you want like an affordable um, option, like Muji always has like the best notebooks. Mm, true. Like then the like the, the paper is really smooth. But uh, as mentioned, like I really wanted to try the Archer and Olive ones. I think it looks like yeah. So Muji and Archer. <laughs> yeah, Muji and Muji Olive is good. Mine are mm. all. Japanese, I would say, of course, you have Fubunichi, oh, yeah. Midori. I also highly prefer Rollban. The paper is fountain friendly and I really mm. like it. It's not white, so if you like like a bit of like creamy, mm. yellowy grid like, paper, like paper no. you will definitely like Rollban. So those are my top three. How about for washi tape? Do you have a specific brand? Mm. I guess we are all familiar. We're always like, we. I always give her like my washi sampler, so she always gets like. A lot of my yeah, extra you stationary. Buy the washi tape. It's great quality. <laughs> so it's really important to invest in good washi tapes too. So yeah. for in terms of brand, um, sh the OG brand MP. is always empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you should check out her washi tapes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna answer a few more questions, and we can try this last snack. So I asked some of my followers on Instagram for some questions, but I guess most of these are more targeted to bullet journaling, so I'm gonna check them out. What is your most useful bullet journaling spread? What would you say? Oh, great question. Um, my, one of my favorite spreads that I've uh, done this year is a budget tracker. Ooh. So peak adulting. I was actually very proud of this spread, but I can't take it. I just looked for diff for On like Pinterest tags, mm. and then I just combined it in one spread. I have a um, budget spread, but it's not just like it's not just any budget spread. I, like you just log your expenses. I have like um, target budgets. So like target budgets and then actual spend per week so wow. that you can take note like, oh, am I going above my budget um, this week? So if, if I went above my budget this week, the following week, I'm gonna Offset, save like more not, money. Not like, okay, don't much. not mm -hmm. spend anymore. And after every month, I would just do like a pie chart of like how, where the bulk of my expenses went for that particular month. So it's here. Okay, I, uh, the other question that I got is Any Bujo setup that you think works for everyone? I guess it kinda is the same question with the useful spread But in oh. terms of like What, what setup would you say would be the most useful? Works for everyone Works for everyone I think it's also a question if you're the type who uses out of stationery If you don't, then you can just make a Bujo that doesn't have stationery Like the OG mm -hmm. Ryder Carl style with like the black, you know just the lines and yeah. the what's that? The bullets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's called bullet journal yep, for a yep. reason. And we have one last question, which is I think a good question is, how do you keep it going? Because I only last about three months oh. doing bullet journal. <laughs> what's kept you? I only lasted six months, so you better give me your tips um, on this. I don't, I actually, it really depends on the person. So I was like, no. But do you have like a a schedule in a week where you actually sit down and start designing, plotting, all these mm -mm. schedules? Yeah. How how does it work for you? In terms I of do that? actually. So I plan the week ahead every like Sunday. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, so every Sunday is like my puja day. So I just plan, I, and then especially like when it's the end of the month, the the previous Sunday I would start planning for the for the next month so that I wouldn't because I take lo a long time when I plan my the the beginning of my of the monthly spreads 
So yeah, that's what I do. I think it's important to have like a schedule, especially like when in terms of designing. I think it's important to try to look for different ways how on how to make each spread like more fun for you as well. I think that's how you can continue to keep doing good journaling. Thank you to our Bujo expert for the... I'm really not an expert guys. <laughs> By the way, this is to her. this is um so the other one was oh, corn cheese. This was this is sweet corn. So yeah. I think that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you to my sister for tagging Thank along. You for having me. I was like do you want to guest in my videos? And let us know if you want to make if you want us to make more of these videos. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more new videos and updates. And make sure to be part of my Patreon community. It's patreon.com slash abc to get first dibs on videos, updates, exclusive content, and be part of our creative community. This has been Abby. Bernice. <laughs> and I will we will see you guys soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!